hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how i maintained my straight hair over this past month and how i was able to keep it straight for over a month so i'm just going to share with you a few tips and go through everything i did to achieve that right so when i'm going into the shower i make sure to wrap my hair and i use two hair wraps so i would wrap my hair with my normal satin head scarf so yeah, I just put my headscarf on, make sure this triangle is pulled down so it's snug on my head and then I just twist the headscarf on my head a little bit to make sure that the hair's going in the right direction and then I just move my hand around like so. For extra security, I put this around my head as well because I'm not getting any moisture in <laughs> when my hair's straight and then I take another headscarf and do the same thing like so. And also I make sure that my hair is wrapped when I go in the shower as well. I don't really keep my hair in ponytails with my hair straight because I don't want to have the crimp of the ponytail hold up on my hair. But yeah, this is what I do. And I tell you, no moisture is getting in here. And obviously when you're in a shower, just don't let the water touch anywhere above your neck. But yeah, so let me take my hair down and show you guys what it's looking like. just doing the side part in because my hair doesn't look good <laughs> with the middle part I'll show you guys actually let me show you so this is what my hair looks like with a center part in see what I mean just it looks too flat on my head I think it's my head shape it's like really oval <laughs> so it looks kind of makes me look kind of coney at the top so yeah that's why I don't really like to wear the center part ins so yeah I'm just gonna part my hair off to the side <laughs> So that's what it looks like. As you can see, my hair's a little bit frizzy. It's all around the front. So this is a seven day hair. I'm still happy with the fact that it's pretty straight still. My ends are a little bit poofy, which usually happens for me anyway. And my hair is a lot more blunt than it usually is because I really, really gave myself a good trim. Yeah, I like to do a really good cut during springtime because I know that I'm not going to wear my hair straight at all throughout the whole summer and then around autumn time is when I'll trim it again or straighten and trim it again but yeah I'm going out tonight my boyfriend's taking me out so I'm going to show you how I straighten the front of my hair just to touch it up and make it look fresh again I don't touch the ends of my hair at all I just literally once I straighten it that's it and once it gets a bit raggedy and old I do tend to do um one curls on them but this time i'm not going to do one curls i'm going to try a heatless method so yeah let's see how that goes so i'm using my ghds today because the other trainers are a bit too big to catch like the front parts of my hair um so yeah the smaller plates are better for that so what i'm going to do is finger part the whole hairline just a really thin layer so you just the front sections like that take out the whole perimeter of my head clip out the rest but if you're worried about heat damage i don't suggest you do this at all so yeah just go ahead and straighten these parts more so just where it's um reverted a bit so i just take it and straighten it backwards like that so it, like it's kind of bumped at the root so you just keep going around the whole head i mean i don't really need to do the part it's not that bad but if i was going out this is what i would do As you can see, it looks pretty much brand new. Yeah, so that looks much better to me now. My scalp is a little bit dry. I won't oil it yet because I don't want it to weigh down my hair, but um, I will oil it when it gets to about two weeks maybe. But for now, the flakes aren't too bad, so I'm not worried. But if my flakes get a bit too much, I just put my hair up in a ponytail. But I will show you guys what I do throughout the next week when it gets a little bit old. But yeah, every night I've been putting this essential oils by Care Care on my ends. And then I would wrap my hair. But if I wanted to moisturise my hair during the day, I would just use this Silk and Seal spray. So yeah, I just spray it on my ends. And in the places where it's a little bit more dry. So like mine is my crown and I get that hairline and my flowers. There's nothing I could do about the flowers. 
and I'm just going to get that part as well because I want that to slick down a bit and I brush that through you see so that's all I do so yeah the essential oils at night and this in a day if I need it I don't usually need it um I haven't used this all week I just did it for you guys today so yeah that's all I do and I'm good for another week or so I'll say so for this whole week I've been wrapping my hair every night without fail that's obviously key to keep your hair straight I haven't pulled it up in any ponytails and if I wanted to clip my hair out of the way all I do is swing it to the back and grab it like that twirl it around like that and clip it like that and that's all I do no hair bands for me because it's just going to crimp my hair and I want to keep my hair as straight as possible I'll update you guys next week on what I do I'm going to try and keep my hair like this for about a month just because it's lasting so long already I know it's going to last me a long time so if you have watched my curly to straight routine you probably have seen what products I used and I feel like this made the whole world of difference I've been straightening my hair for years and the only time I got my hair straight like this is when it was heat trained so it worries me a little bit because I don't know whether it's damaged my hair or not but um, I will be recording my straight to curly routine as well so if you want to see that video subscribe to my channel but yeah that's it for this week and I'll see you guys next week bye oh, my allergies mm -mm. I don't know if I can record today Honestly, today has not been going well. <laughs> my hair fever was messing up my makeup so much. I had to keep re reapplying my flipping eyeshadow because it just kept dripping off. Ugh, not even good. I, listen to me, I'm all stuffy. My nose is just... Ugh. Hey guys, this is week two and I've just bought my makeup to go absolutely nowhere. And I'm going to show you what my hair is looking like now. I had this headband on because I was doing my makeup. Let me take that off. So it's pretty straight still. Let me comb it out to show you guys. Right, as you can see, my ends are becoming a little bit more bushy. So I haven't sprayed my scalp like I said I was going to do. Just because it's not really too dry at the roots. Let me show you. Like I've got some flakes, but it's not that bad. Do you know what I mean? Like... So I'm not going to spray it to weigh it down, if you know what I mean, if it doesn't need it. So that's doing pretty well so far. Um, the only thing is that it's getting bushy. The roots are reverting a little bit. As you can see at the front here, it's reverted. And that side too. So yeah, as you can see at the back, it's a bit reverted as well. And that's just from me going on little walks with my son and just having a little sweat. <laughs> I do sweat a lot on my head. This is why summer does not work for me at all with my straight hair. And the first place I sweat is my head. So yeah, sucks for me. Usually when I used to straighten my hair, by two weeks it would be poofy and I wouldn't need to wrap my hair up at night but since this has lasted me a very long time I've made sure to keep it straight by wrapping my hair every single night and I was using that essential oils from Care Care but it was leaving a little residue on my hair that I didn't like and it wasn't making my hair silky like this so I stopped using it and instead I started using the Silk and Seal I didn't want to waste this product out because it's quite expensive compared to the other products but this is really really lightweight and it does exactly what the essential oils does but it doesn't leave the residue so yeah i still will be wearing my hair straight for the next few weeks if it lasts but because the ends are a bit bushy i'm going to show you what i do to make them look a bit better because yeah they're just a little bit bushy and also i'm going to sort out this front area too um, So because my hair is a little bit old now, I don't mind using edge control, but when it's really dead straight, I don't like to use edge control at all because I know that it's going to make this part greasy and I don't want it to be greasy. Yeah, I'm just going to do my edges. So yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. I can't believe this is actually two weeks after straightening my hair. 
it's lasting long it's a good routine guys you wanna you wanna see this one mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah it's been a hard week yo <laughs> So this is my hair after three weeks and it was halfway into this week where I stopped wrapping my hair and I just started to wear my hair up in a bun at night and wrapping my headscarf around that just because it was getting a bit tedious to remember to wrap my hair and some nights I'll forget and yeah so it's just starting to get poofy anyway so yeah just started wearing it up in a bun and this week I was doing a lot of deep cleaning as well so my roots reverted even more but surprisingly my roots weren't dry at all so there wasn't much flakes and yeah so i'm just going to show you guys what i do to flatten my hairline without using heat because i wasn't going to put any more heat than i have already so i will do this when i want to wear my hair down i just want my roots to be a bit more flat but obviously i wouldn't do this when my hair was dead straight because it does leave residue and it does leave build up like a greasy build up so i wouldn't recommend it for dead straight hair so I go ahead and put my hair in a ponytail right at the top of my head and then I apply some edge control around the perimeter of my head. And then I smooth that in with a smoothing brush. And then I tie my hair up into a bun and put the edge of scarf around my head. And I leave that on for about half an hour until the edge control fully absorbs into my hair. And then I would usually just take my hair down and part it off as normal. So every time I would want my roots to be sleek, that's what I would do. But this day I was going for an x-ray, so I decided to wear my hair up. So after the 30 minutes, I just took the headscarf off. And then I took the essential oils from Kerak Hair and applied that to the ends of my hair, just to give my ponytail an added shine. And then I just took the ponytail down. Oh wow, those birds are chirping. I think they're robins. Oh no, the baby birds. Aww. Anyway, yeah, so I just take I just reapplied the ponytail holder. So I'm just gonna show you a few ways that I wear my hair while it's up. I'd either wear it up in a ponytail, just like it is now, or I would just tie it up in a bun or I would use a donut bun to make the bun seem a bit fuller and that's how I wore my hair to the x-ray with the donut so yeah those are the three hairstyles that I typically wear when my hair's up more like a messy bun feel but you can also do a ninja bun as well that looks really cute <laughs> not on my head but yeah it will look really cute on someone else <laughs> and that's all I did really Hey guys, so this is week four of my straight hair and as you can see, it's up in a bun. Yes, I know. I couldn't be bothered to wrap it every day anymore. So for the past three days or so, I've been just putting it up in a bun like this. This has been up like this since last night. So I'm gonna take it down and show you guys what it's looking like. So when I'm putting it up in a bun, I just use a satin scrunchie, not the elastic ones, because I don't want them to break my hair. looking like guys not bad is it and for my edges of my hair I did use some edge control and use my headband to flatten it down but as you can see my roots are really diverted now let me just give you a little look at my scalp as well that's not too bad really I would have expected more flakes than that and I haven't actually greased my scalp at all Usually I would have to put some hairspray on my hair sometimes when it gets a bit too dry. Um, I did see a few flakes at one point when I was combing my hair and flakes were coming down on my clothes. But that is not too bad at all. So I'm going to comb it out and see if it's still wearable on week four. Usually when I start to put it up in a bun, I don't tend to wear it down. I usually wear it like half up, half down, or just up in a bun or a ponytail. I'm just going to pile it off how I would usually wear it out. Just to show you guys. And just to show you guys the date. I straightened my hair on the 24th of April. So I believe it's been four weeks, but it's coming up to a full month. But this is what it's looking like. And as you can see from the hair being up in a bun, it's got these little crimps in it. And my ends aren't doing 
too badly but they're just a little bit poofy now as you can see but yeah as I said I don't wear my hair down when it's like this anyway even though it's still wearable I think <laughs> but um yeah it's just a bit too poofy at the ends for me even with my hair being like this I can still go ahead and use my rollers to get the ends to look straight still but at this point I'm just not really bothered about keeping it straight anymore um, so I'm just going to continue to put it up in a bun until I'm ready to wash it out I'm going to leave it for another week <laughs> um, just because it's so straight still and this is not bad for four weeks at all so yeah I'm going to do a heatless heatless curled style for next week and then wash it after that week So that's my hair. So I'm just gonna put my hair up into that half down, half up hairstyle that I like to wear when it's good, when it gets a bit old. That's not exactly half, is it? It's like a third up, two thirds down. <laughs> so I'm just gonna clip that back part away. Then I'm just gonna use some edge control and slick up the sides. I wouldn't use gel because the gel is gonna be too wet and it's gonna revert your hair. So I'm just using edge control and that's been fine for me. Um, same with moisturizer or anything like that. Anything that's water-based is gonna make your hair revert and you don't want that to happen. Slick up, slick up my hair. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna slick it up. I'm gonna use a little bit more edge control because I can see like these hairs sticking up and it's gonna annoy my life. <sighs> okay. Oh, they're still sticking up. <laughs> oh, how sad. So I'm just gonna take another one. for me <laughs> see that's so cute isn't it i love wearing my hair like this because it makes me look quite young <laughs> the ends are a little bit bushy i wouldn't usually care about them being frizzy when it's like this now um but i didn't actually put any oil in it last night so that's why it's a bit poofy so i'm just going to add the oil now even though i only put it in before i wrap my hair usually or put my hair up so i'm just going to add just a little bit of oil i didn't show you how much i had but um and just rake it through your ends this oil has a really delicate fragrance as well I really like it yeah so now it looks less poofy yes yeah, so i'm just going to comb that through yeah, so I love to wear this hairstyle where my hair is a little bit, you know, tatty and old. Yeah, so I'm just going to do my edges quickly. Okay. Done a little something, something. So I'm just going to set that with my headscarf quickly. Just like that. So I'm just going to let that sit for five to ten minutes and then I'll be back. As you can see, that oil's really soaked in now, so it's not as way down. So this is week four guys, and we're still going strong. So yeah, as I said, I'll probably wear this for one more week, and then I'm gonna do a heatless curls hairstyle. And the reason why I am leaving it for another week is because it's my sister's birthday next week. And also because I wanna show you guys my straight to curly routine as well, and I don't have time to wash my hair today. Well, I do have time to wash my hair, I just don't have time to record and wash my hair. So yeah, that's all the things I did to maintain my straight hair over this month and how I was able to keep my hair straight for over a month. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.